There are six steps to set up a back table for a ruptured aneurysm. The first step is the access needle and lidocaine. This is a critical step for gaining vascular access. The second step is to prepare three sets of syringes. The first set of 10 cc syringes will be for dilute contrast and the second set will be for 20 cc syringes for heparinized saline. Two bowls are needed, one for heparinized saline and one clearly labeled for visipic. It is important to remember to load the 10 cc syringes with half saline and half visipic. Finally, a 60 cc syringe for the aortic occlusion balloon is also loaded with half saline and half visipake. The third step is to prepare three sets of wires. Two each of the green wire, blue wire, and black wire are sequentially flushed. It is important to advance the blue wire prior to flushing the flush port as shown here. All of the remaining wires are similarly flushed. The fourth step is to flush three sets of sheaths. There are two 6 French, two 11 French, and one long 12 French sheath. The dilator is removed and flushed with heparinized saline. The sheath is flushed by opening the stopcock flushing with heparinized saline and then turning the stopcock toward the flush port. It is critical to remember this step. The dilator is then carefully reinserted into the sheath. The remaining sheaths are similarly flushed. And again, the stopcock is turned toward the flush port after flushing. The fifth step is to flush three types of catheters, the Cumpy, the Vansky 3, and the Pigtail. The final step is the preparation of the Coda balloon. The protective black sleeve is removed and discarded, and the inline port, not the balloon port with the white stopcock, is flushed. Your final setup should look very similar to this, with minimal clutter and an organized sterile field. With these six steps, you will never have a problem preparing for an urgent ruptured AAA.